Hey guys, this is Michael, and I'm with Joanna. This is, uh, I think, our third Encore video. Uh, it's November, we're in Kentucky on the Green River. Uh, the water's up a little bit, they're letting some lakes out, but it's manageable, the leaves are coming down, which is starting to get a little aggravating, but we've been able to uh, handle it. It's warm though, this is Kentucky. Uh, damn near 80 degrees and probably getting warmer. Uh, we got 40 hooks, guys. Uh, we're starting to reduce our hook count uh, down from 50, and we'll probably continue to do that until we pull out. We got a lot of live bait uh, and skipjack, and uh, we're still hunting for that big flathead. But we're also just out here having fun. If we don't catch anything, we will not be surprised. We only got one limb line in each area now, and uh, like I said, 40 hooks total. I think there are 10 hooks right here. Give this a little jerk. So what's been going on? It's been a bit. It's either too bright or too dark. <laughs> Very bright now. Love the vitamin D. Huh? Love the vitamin D. <laughs> yeah. Is it vitamin E or D? D. I thought it was D. Yeah, I said D. D is nuts. <laughs> <laughs> Love you, Michael. <laughs> I like the D. <laughs> we got a bunch of leaves in the boat, guys. Uh, Usually I clean the boat out and stuff, but I was like, you know what, we're just going to leave them. Just to kind of add the effect of fall. Indeed. And there's a good chance that we catch fish. There's also a good chance that we won't catch fish. But one thing's for certain, this line's going to be tight because there's going to be leaves on it and there's a little bit of a current. So just be slow, be careful. And I don't know if you've, that's a beautiful shot there. Ah. Just let it kind of slow the boat down. Okay. If you've, uh, you've done the whole strumming the line, I'm thinking you did that in the beginning, maybe not. Yeah. So if you get a bunch of leaves or something, just kind of give the line a little strum and it should knock them off. Okay. We got Daniel up the way playing safety. I've convinced him to come out as usual. Oh. And like I said, we put decent bait on. I mean, I went bluegill fishing. We found some goldfish. Those of you watching that are local, uh, Horn's Bait Shop has, he says that he is done. He, he, he closed down in October 2022 of this year and says he, he's retiring, so. I'm having to go find new bait shops and stuff, so it is pretty close to when we shut down for is the that winter. Eight or... <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so, over the winter, we'll figure that out. We may even make some videos early, early next year. Yeah, that's bait. Okay. Say it's really weird if he got stuck on there like that. <laughs> yeah. Be convenient. Well, it is a good piece of bait, and it's still on. Never like to see that, but. Mm. Oh boy. So this is your fourth video, pretty Indeed. sure. The first video we uh, we called Southern Hospitality. Mm -hmm. and that was her first time out, and uh, I think she talked about all the places she lived, and uh, she uh, commented on how. Uh, Kentucky has uh, some very nice people to the point that it's kind of weird <laughs> compared to other places. So. Indeed. Have you, you know, that's been, I don't know, uh, six months ago, four months ago? Yeah. Three months ago, I guess. I don't Something know. Something in between there. <laughs> Anything uh, pop in your mind that's happened like that since? Hmm. 
nothing. I can't think of anything too hospitable. Uh, with mainly some like drama. Drama. Yeah, I got some new neighbors and they tried to build onto our fence without asking. Well, like that this was is, this little... is the opposite of. Yeah, they didn't ask and then they didn't get it surveyed. So our the fence is actually kind of not exactly on the property line. It's more so they built their fence on our property. So I that gotcha. didn't go over too well. So that was a little unsettling. I gotcha. Got yeah, that all figured my out, neighbors, but... I got a fence in between me and my neighbor. Mm -hmm. It's falling apart. <laughs> but it, I told him, I was like, what would you do if one day I just said, hey, I want to tear your fence down and build another one? Like, and yeah. he was like, go for it. So. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure people probably split that and all that, but I get it. I can't force you to want a fence. He don't care. He ain't got no dog. He just... He uh, he hasn't got out yet, but he's getting close. So okay. Go ahead and drop, drop it. Drop that one. Okay. All right. Uh, there was only a few pieces of bait even missing on that line. A lot of the live bait was still on, so hopefully that is just a <laughs> just for this little small area. And the other parts of the river is going to be better. We did see fish flopping everywhere yesterday, so just still got still got uh, thirty more hooks. Let me know when I can take these off. <laughs> 